We're here in St. George, Utah, and guess where we're gonna take you? We're gonna take you to the headquarters of Superior Threads, a superior place to visit, I've heard. Here we have here the bobbin elves at Superior. They take the masterpiece and they put it in these donuts. What do they go for, 35, 39? 39. Perfect for applique. And actually, there's two different color sets. Is this the original, Bob, the, the blue? blue is the original. Yeah, and then the lavender. lavender. Who's the fastest here? Who wins the race? Well, that's a when good I question. Left, <laughs> when I left, it was them to beat my record of 106 done in an hour. Whoa! And where are these wrapped, Bob? At her dad's house at night? Well, I do, but I, and I try to do it all I can by hand. But what I can do by hand, we have, we're well, going next to that room, and they're doing it right now. Oh, you're kidding, it's done here. And we don't call it wrap, we call it winding. Winding, okay, I guess I fail as a bomb in <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're in Ani's cave, right? That's what the winder nicknamed his office back there. And we count how many bobbins we wound in a month. February was a new high at 46.114, and they beat it by what, 13 bobbins in April. And that's so, where those little donut things, right? They yeah. go into the donuts. Nice. And they go into the dozen packs, or the half gross packs. Let's sneak in, but I don't want to scare them. And I want to be real clear that this is not for sewing machine use, right? Except as a bobbin thread. If you like pre-wound bobbins, these are fantastic for pre-wound bobbins. And people like the two-ply for that because you get more on a bobbin and it's, it doesn't go through the tensile disc, you're not going through the needle, so the strength is perfectly adequate and for so, bobbin thread. And so how do you know what machines this will work on? Check our website. Okay. It's about 70% take the L-style bobbin, that's all we wind. Okay. 30% either take another style or they're unique. Okay. There's a lot of machines that are one of a kind bobbin size. pre mounts don't exist. Okay, okay, so what about Bernina specifically? Let's get down to details. Some Bernina models do use the L style pre wound, the okay. 730, one in the 600 series, and then the older Artista, the 180 and the 200. Really? Yeah, because the new bobbins are like huge. They're larger. We. And people like that because it holds more bobbin thread. We hate changing the bobbin, basically. Yeah, no kidding. And that's the advantage of a pre wound because we get 50% more yardies here than a self-wound bobbin. Have you heard about the language of quilting? Tell me. It's when your bobbin ran out five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it was invented. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that happens way too often. <laughs> These are where we... After they're wound here, oh, by the way, this is 200,000 bobbin cores. So wow. These, that's the plastic pieces. Wow. And that's what we put on the machine, and that's what we start winding around. So this is step one. Step two, we go to the back room where they put the sides on. Oh, this is where the bobbins are actually put together. We wind it in the winding, on the winding machines. They come in here, and we manually have to put in the, on the two cardboard sides. And the cardboard sides are really mint, and they're okay if you just pull them up. Uh -huh. They're put on to keep the thread intact mostly during shipping. Some machines like them on, some machines like them better off. So this is EJ. We're hanging, over your, we're hanging over your shoulder big time. No, it's fine. Now why are you pulling off there? Um, because the bobbin's a little overwhelmed. Oh, okay, okay. And so... I'm trying to get it to where I can see a little bit of cardboard, because then that would mean that the bobbin's okay. Okay. Each of those should have the number stamp, so we print cardboard sites for every number we have. Where do you print? Local. Okay. We send it out, and that way if you run out, and it was a red one, but we have five reds, you know exactly what number because it's stamped on the site. Just like this. These are the bottom sides. Wow. So 
so the bottoms are they're sided here, and then we go on to step three. Okay. After we've wound the bobbin, then it goes into the step two where we put the cardboard sides on manually. And then it comes to step three, and this is a pressing machine. And what it does, both with heat and in pressure, is going to take that plastic core and almost melt the ends, turn it into a lip around it to hold them, and then it compacts everything together. Yeah, as you can see, the lip is over here. And we press this lip and it compacts it together. Four steps go into every bobbin we make. One is winding, two is the sides going on, three is the pressing, four is packaging. I'm, a, I'm impressed that it's here, it's being done in the United States of America. China will do it for a nickel. We're paying about 39 cents for every one we get done. And the problem is China, they really don't care about quality. It's gonna take months and months. We run out of color, it's gonna be four months before we get the color back in. We do it here, we run low on a color, Go wind it, please. They wind it, we get it done, tomorrow we have it. So do you have somebody in the back room like making the thread and spinning it? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it ends up, either in the dozen pack or in our donuts that we'll go get. Great. This is a piece of cake inspired design with a multicolor pack. We have three multicolor packs. So they have a total of 36 colors of ovens on the piece of cake. How many are in a donut? A donut holds 35. So you get a donut for 35 or you get here at 36. And the difference is you're paying for that holder. I was a couple say, extra dollars. Do you sell those holders individually too? We do, empty. Oh, there they are, right yeah. up there, right? Got it, great. And then we have these two packs of the neutral colors. A masterpiece. So we have the light neutrals and here. And again, these are so convenient if you're traveling, you don't want to take 12 spools of thread with you pack it in your bag and you got the neutral colors or the dark neutrals or any a good assortment of colors there. Well, when I took David Taylor's workshop, that's when I really understood the value of them. Sold and sold. So I had no idea. I have a profound new appreciation for my donuts. It is pretty labor intensive. Yeah, no kidding. Yay! Thanks for your ideas. Yeah.